morning. Today is my post-grad graduation for Imperial and I just got ready so I did my makeup. I haven't got changed yet but I'll be planning to wear a Chinese traditional dress. Uh, it's called a Cheongsam or a Qipao. Looks something like this and I'll be changing into that really soon. My ceremony for my faculty will be starting at 1.30 p.m. and before that I will need to go collect my gown and also to register. I think I'm a little bit late for that so I'm gonna quickly change and then just have a coffee. So yeah, I think it'll be really nice to just be seeing everyone from my masters again. I haven't seen them in quite a while since we graduated almost, I want to say seven to eight months ago. So yeah, it'll just be a really nice reunion, just seeing what everyone else is up to, where they are at right now. And I hope I'll be able to vlog quite a bit of the graduation today. So yeah, I'll be taking you guys along with me and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. So now I'm heading to the tube station to take a tube to South Kensington and I'm dressed in my graduation outfit and got a little coat just in case it gets a little chilly. The weather is not too cold today which will be nice so fingers crossed I'll be staying like this the rest of the day. graduation gown and now I'm heading to the ethos gym where it's sort of like a converted cloakroom to just drop off some of my things. supporters, many of whom will be in the audience watching us online or thinking of us today. So as you go out into the world, here's a couple of things to bear in mind. First, to do what is valuable and what makes a positive difference to people's lives, and not just what is easy or enjoyable. It can be difficult to discern the right thing to do, and accomplishment takes hard work and perseverance along with some difficult choices. Yeah. 
Vivian Lai Lauren Law Lin Shen Yi Shou Yi Lin Thanks to Lewis Yang Bonnie Yangston Kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies You got me running circles the side of my head Now we're doing everything that I wish you had said Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies I am finally back home after a very long day at graduation um, my ceremony started at 1 p.m., but then I went for registration around 11.30, collected my gown, met a few friends, and then made my way to the Royal Albert Hall. In between, I was trying to find where the cloakroom was because uh, previously when I graduated for my undergrad, the cloakroom was just immediately after where I put my gown on. But this time it was all the way at the ethos, so I had to walk over in heels and everything just to um, put my bags and this coat away because there was no way I was going to be carrying this around. So after that, I met my dad and then we headed to the Royal Albert Hall. Then... The queue was pretty long to head in actually. This time compared to my undergrad, felt like there were a lot more people and I'm not sure if it's because now that COVID restrictions are lifted and every single graduate can bring uh, two guests that it just felt like it was a lot more people. After I got in, I saw a couple of my friends from my course. I thought that they put all the course mates together in one area but I guess we were mixed together as part of a department so there are a few courses and they just kind of combined the few of us together um, in alphabetical order so I saw some of my course mates sort of scattered around the same stalls in the hall and the ceremony itself lasted for more than two and a half hours it felt quite tiring sitting down the whole time and also the shoulder pads on your gown it just started to weigh down on me quite a lot who would have thought that sitting down would be so tiring <laughs> but yeah after that um everything was just quite hectic like you'd think that you'd have a lot of time to chat with friends take a bunch of photos but because there's so many people it's actually just so difficult to find everyone and so i just pretty much stayed with my family and uh, after the ceremony i went to get my professional photo taken and that again had a pretty long queue but it was not too bad so yeah i've got that done and it just started raining really heavily but i still had my bags and my coat in the cloakroom that's like 10-ish minutes away and the rain just didn't stop so yeah i just walked there under the rain, in heels. My heels were so disgusting after. But yeah, after I collected my stuff, it was finally time to head back home. And now I'm here. We're ordering Chinese takeaway. So I'm really excited to eat that because I literally haven't ate anything since breakfast. So. If history repeats. Three, two. Okay. What kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies You got me running circles inside of my head Now we're doing everything that I wish you had said Another glass won't kill you, right? 